Okay. <laughs> Maybe. I actually have my notes this time. I'm gonna do this right. <laughs> Hi, I'm Olivia, also known as The Witch of Wonderlust here on YouTube and on Instagram. I thought it would be fairly fitting to review some books on love and sex magic for February. These books are explicit, so um, this is your 18 and over warning. So if you were under 18, then, you know, open a private browser. <laughs> for those of you who follow me on Instagram, you will know that I'm a very sex positive person. I support sex work and I really do think that sex education is really, really important. Yeah, that's why I'm reviewing these. These books are not purely for lust. They are actually educational and I do think that they would be beneficial to anybody who reads them. So let's get into it. Uh, grab yourself a cup of tea. Today I'm drinking Love Potion, I thought that was fitting, by I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce it, so I'm not gonna say it, but I'll link it if you're interested. So yeah, grab a cup of tea and let's get started. Two books that I'm gonna be reviewing. First one, I have Love Potions, A Guide to Aphrodisiacs and Sexual Pleasures by Cynthia Marvis Watson, ND, with Angela Hines. So this is the first one that we'll be talking about. This one I came across super randomly. Um, I was in kind of the middle of nowhere and there was a sign that said there were, there's a bookshop of a bunch of used books and I thought, mm, if you're gonna twist my arm. So I, I wandered in there and bought this book for $4 and my favorite part was when the woman sold it to me, she leaned over and said, be careful, this shit is real. <laughs> anyway, um, so yes, love potions. This book was not what I expected. I thought it was going to be very woo woo and out there. I thought it was going to be very um, new agey, I guess. And that's kind of what I expected going into this book. I was immediately proven wrong the first few pages in. Um, this book actually has a highly science-based foundation, which is really interesting and I absolutely adored. There is a whole ton of resources listed in the back to every study or resource that she lists. There's a lot of history and lore of aphrodisiacs and the tactics and the way that aphrodisiacs were used. It's really fascinating, but it's not so in-depth that you get lost. There's talks of different deities, uh, practices that all relate to sexual pleasure and aphrodisiacs, as well as actual studies that are proving or disproving claims for certain tactics of sexual arousal. So surprisingly enough, this actually wasn't as spiritual of a book as I thought, but there is a touch of mysticism in there and I, I did enjoy that, that it was heavily science, but it was a little bit mystical. As you can tell, I had a lot of fun with just random little tidbits, facts, different studies that she points out, and there's actually recipes in here that I really wanna try. This is a very in-depth book. It goes into the dangers of tactics, it goes into different drugs and the uses, it goes into hormones and the actual biological chemistry of your body and lifestyles, foods, etc. Everything uh, that will have effect on your biological chemistry and your hormones and how that's going to teeter the libido. There are uh, quite a few recipes, as I mentioned prior, that I'm really interested in trying because some of them just sound really good and most of them involve alcohol. It does go into a little bit of the holistic remedies that are used around the world and that she herself uses with some of her clients and patients. So it is kind of interesting to hear both of those sides. This, I, I really, really, really liked this book. I'm probably going to read it again um, just because there's so much information in here and it took me a good two weeks to get through here. The next one I just got in the mail two days ago. Two days ago? Yesterday? I don't know. Recently. And I devoured it. It was super easy to read. It's very, very easy of a book to just kind of blow through. Easy to retain information, which I really enjoyed. This one is Sex Witch, Magical Spells for Love, Lust, and Self-Protection by Sophie St. Thomas. So this book I got from Wiser because Wiser is wonderful and they just send me books to review, which, oh, if you're gonna twist my arm there too, might as well. First off this book, the first sentence is, it, it just sets up the whole entire book. It's an incredibly explicit book and there is a use of shock 
factor that I think that the author uses. It's not so much of just saying it matter of fact, there is a little bit of that shock factor where she will use specific words in order to kind of like bring you back into the book. And that might throw some people off. I personally found it amusing and I think that it gave the author a distinctive voice when I was reading. This is surprisingly a very beginner friendly book and I know that some of you might be like, no, I, I swear, it's a pretty beginner friendly book. Um, this book is also written for everybody and when I say everybody, I mean everybody. It's really inclusive, which I really appreciated. When I say beginner friendly, I mean that it briefly covers things like color correspondences, tarot cards, it actually lists all of the tarot cards and a brief meaning for each one, different candles and what they're used for, very brief and surface level touch on astrology and signs, and a list of herbs and crystals that you can use in your rituals. Another great thing about this book is that it has a great coverage, which I mean, I would hope so, being that it's titled Sex Witch, autonomy, consent, kinks, fetishes, different kinds of relationships, sexualities, and different words that you might use to help others better understand that. There is suggested reading and a list of resources in the back, which you know is always going to be a win for me. And there's a great, wonderful, wonderful collection of spells and rituals in the back for Oh, just about everything. Everything from helping yourself heal from a breakup, revealing secrets, having a great one night stand, helping with your trust issues, stop contacting your ex, there's hexing abusers, cutting cords, good book. So these are the, the two books that uh, I thoroughly enjoyed and read through February. I think that these go really well together just because whatever one is missing, the other one kind of fills in. No, what am I looking for? I mean, yes, but um, uh, it complements. They complement each other. That's the word that I'm looking for. These two complement each other because this one, like I said, is very scientific based. It's very study based and also experimental um, while not going too far on just relying on solely energy work. There is actual studies that prove or disprove claims and there's a lot of talk of hormones and how things like medications and foods and lifestyles will interact with that and how bodies are different, et cetera, et cetera, of course is important. And then this one is very much about personal power, which again is very important. This book kind of feels like that one really aggressive friend that you have that will just pump you up. Another thing that I really enjoyed about this book in particular, Sex Witch, was that it doesn't sugarcoat anything, which is incredibly refreshing. It's not fluffy, it's not soft, it's not trying to make anything look pretty. It's very much in your face of this is what you need to do and this is kind of how it is. And again, there's a little bit of spice in the way that the author speaks and writes. This book is actually a lot of fun to read, so if you get the chance, I would highly recommend both of these. So that is my book review. Again, like I said, if you follow me on Instagram, you already know that I am a pretty sex positive person, being that I teach pole dancing and also many of my friends are sex workers. I support that community highly. I believe that sex education is incredibly, incredibly important and I think that it should be talked about more openly and there shouldn't be so much shame that is encompassed around sexuality and pleasure. So um, that being said, these two books are really great eye-openers. They're really good uh, thought-provoking books if that's something that you struggle with. And that and also it's really good to feel like you're reclaiming your power back and especially using something like your body and pleasure, something that is very encompassed in shame, especially around reclaiming that and using that to manifest things in your life, I think is kind of badass. So yeah, if you are interested, definitely take a look at these books. I'd love to know your thoughts on love magic, on sex magic, and I did do another review on more ceremonial and it's kind of internal work, uh, but they are both sex magic based, so I'll leave that link up here, those two books. Um, that is it, I think. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay, well, um, I really appreciate your time. Thanks for hanging out with me for a little bit. Anyway, go uh, look at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself that you are a badass bitch. Make yourself look nice today for no apparent reason other than that you're alive. Otherwise, that is all that I have for you today. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day, night, afternoon, wherever you are. And as always, best of luck, be kind to each other, and may your gods treat you as you've treated others. Bye.